Hey everybody, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot, gladness, um, I'm a little under the weather, unfortunately, I think it's because in the state of Maryland, you know, asking for consistency as far as temperature and weather goes is about as great as working at a temp agency. I don't know. So I made some soup yesterday. It's got some green beans, some chicken and stuff like that. Some rice and all that other good stuff loaded with adobo. And then in my other um, dietary supplement, I don't know what to call it. This remedy that my best friend reminded me of is a uh, ginger tea with spinach. And you basically just eat onions like apples. Like that's it. My breath is kicking like Chun-Li as she's trying to save the last bit of her bar getting the fade from E-Honda. Like, it's kicking like that bad. Like, I, I'm i surprised I ain't fogged up my camera or melted my dog on microphone and it's not for my um, 212 bars that are coming out of my mouth. <sighs> All right, y'all. I'm sorry. I gotta... <clears throat> I'm gonna go lay down a little bit. Maybe hop on a heating pad and try to sweat this sh sugar out. Pray for me on my mouth and my mind. All right, <laughs> I'll, I'll get at y'all later. So God just spoke to me about something and revealed something to me that, um, once again, I, did, I disclosed that this is therapeutic for me. And basically, um, God told me that um, it's something that I need to, uh, I guess I need to confront music and heart check wise. So in previous video, um, I, um, I'm a, I disclosed and I talked about how on my way back from therapy, um, I talked about the main reason why I started therapy. So, um, uh, so let's just peel the suck off. Um, I started going to therapy because um, I was emotionally destroyed after finding out that my girlfriend at the time had cheated on me, basically. And um, <sighs> I was in love with this woman, man. Like, to the point that the kid wanted to, you know, get a knee dirty in some, like, white skinny jeans for, you know what I mean? But obviously, infidelity ain't sexy. You know what I mean? Oh, man. So, um, basically what God revealed to me is, a uh, complete transparency, you know, I could care less if anybody really judges me or anything like that, but this is my story, this is my truth, and I'm gonna keep it 100 proof with y'all, for real. <sighs> Got kinda hot in here pouring my heart out right now, I guess. Basically, um, made this beat a while back, and, um, actually wrote a song you know, that was going to rap to her. And I had planned to talk to my pastor and like, <sighs> basically, let me look y'all in the eyes. Basically, I was going to ask my pastor and, you know, pray, have him pray about it and everything, but I was going to perform at my church and get my knee dirty for her. You know what I mean? Anyway, I wrote the song and everything like that and for obvious reasons uh she did not get to hear it and then um in a very like weird and non-coincidental coincidental 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 i don't know man i just woke up in a non-coincidental kind of way um i realized like that like i guess me feeling sick as of the last 24 hours is partial being sick but i guess the other half is emotional so i'm listening to these songs um that I have you know some recorded and everything for that for my album um and i have like this like separate pr playlist and stuff like that like i listen to from time to time and you know some of them finished some of them aren't finished but i listen to them from time to time like especially in my sleep of all times because you know because god will speak to me in my sleep with with um 
in regards to what I do with my music. So tell me why the doggone song that I recorded, you know, for her to perform for her and everything like that, it was in the playlist. Ah, feelings, heartbreak, sadness. It was like, it all got, it just all, it like went in me and like, it just, oh, baby sick. It was like the nastiest cocktail of just like feelings and stuff. And it was in that, that um, God was telling me, I need to get out that pain. So obviously I deleted the track and I don't have any more copies of it. No, nobody can hear it. It's gone ever, forever. It's gone, gone, gone. Like, when my laptop, you know, got resurrected from the dead, I wish that part of it died, but you know, it is what it is. But I'm gonna keep the beat and I'm gonna rewrite the song. 